Here's the show by Ms. T. Foos. <laughs> oh, the camera's rolling. Whoops. Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Ms. T Show. Here we go. Let's start the show. Hosted by Ms. T. Nintendo video games, all the favorite ones for me. Music reviews, some gameplay too. Battle and drones is what I do. What I said, I ain't just the show by Ms. T. It's the show by Ms. T. Nothing's equivalent to the New York state of mind. State of mind. Your state of mind. Your state of mind. Your state of mind. Hey there, fools. Ms. T here. And we're going to do this video kind of, I don't know, uh, how do you say, uh, kind of live stream style. So, you know, I'm not going to be doing major editing or anything like that. We're just going to talk about a few topics here and there. So, uh, First of all, just want to talk about how excited I am that the Switch is doing so well. Uh, it's just great to have a, a Nintendo console that I love. It's also being loved by many other fools and uh, doing well. So, yeah, I just wanted to you know, talk about how excited I am about that and uh, how excited I am to see, uh, you know, a plethora of video games coming out for the console. Um, you know, we don't have the, all the big major third party on board at this point, but you know, that's all right. Uh, cause we have plenty of games to choose from and that's really the, the best thing about the whole situation. So, um, one thing that I'm really happy to see is that certain PC titles is coming out for the Switch. Uh, that was one of my hopes, uh, when they first talked about the Switch and how, uh, easy it was to, uh, port from PC. So... Uh, when they said that back in, I believe, the January event or sometime around then, uh, I was really excited to hear that because, you know, there are a lot of types of PC games that I would like to see come to the console. And obviously we got a mention of, uh, what was the game, Siberia 3 coming to the Switch, and that was very exciting to see. And, uh, and uh, we also got a surprise because I've been on my eShop uh, lately. I was checking out, you know, what's coming soon and stuff because some stuff just comes out. You don't even know it until it's out. <laughs> That's how many games is coming out for the Switch. And uh, I noticed that uh, the original Siberia game uh, is uh, coming out for the Switch very soon. And I was like, wow, I didn't even know this game was coming. They didn't, no announcement, really. I looked there and the only problem with it is that it's 30 bucks. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, a game that is probably like five bucks on Switch right now. Or, excuse me, not Switch, uh, Steam. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we talked about this in the Juice and Loose podcast about how we understood that uh, some of the games that coming out for the Switch uh, maybe a little bit later uh, are coming at a full price, uh, like Doom and uh, stuff like that. But, you know, we talked about how, you know, they got to pay for the porting process. Uh, sometimes they hire uh, uh, outside companies. Uh, that's what happened with Doom, I believe. Uh, they hired a company to port. Um, that's happening with a lot of uh, Switch games uh, that hire outside companies outside of the, the developer's studio to port the game to Switch. Uh, I believe it's happening with Ukulele, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I think these things happen and I understand the price hike. But I, I only hope that, uh, you know, $30 is a lot to ask for a digital only game. So I'm hoping that there is a physical copy at least for uh, Siberia 1, the original. And with that coming, I'm guessing Siberia 2 is uh, coming at some point and obviously we're getting Siberia 3 that was confirmed so really cool to see that very happy about that uh, as you know I talked recently about project cons you know uh, how upset I am you know I, I'm not really upset anymore <laughs> it's just really uh, baffling that uh, that Bandai Namco is that just how could they be that out of touch that blind to the situation of what a Nintendo fan went through on the Wii U it's kind of ridiculous. That's right, I said ridiculous. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's kind of asking Nintendo fans again 
to support this game, uh, to ask for this game, basically. After we came out of our pockets for Project Cars uh, to come to Wii U and uh, never came. And uh, it was just a despicable situation. And for Bandai Namco to be asking Nintendo fans to, to, to ask the developers to bring this game over is just uh, a joke and uh, not worth more time <laughs> in this video and uh, gave it enough time in the last video about it. So yeah, you know, so that's that's with that. Um, what else can we talk about? Yeah, I'm uh, um, talking about that game, Project Cons. I am excited to see uh, Gear Club Unlimited come to uh this uh switch uh we all know that is a cell phone game it started off on uh mobile devices and uh you know it was uh basically uh a free to play game i believe with microtransactions and things like that and uh, uh i'm not really surprised that they're dropping the microtransactions for the switch version um i just kind of guessed that would be the case uh because that's that kind of setup doesn't really work on consoles, but only uh, not only that, but also the fact that they're calling the game Gear Club Unlimited, and uh, to call it Unlimited and then limited with microtransactions <laughs> seems a bit strange. So um, I, I just kind of did some deductive reasoning and just you know never really thought that that was going to be an issue. So I'm happy to see the game come over. I heard they said something about uh, trying to implement the game uh, without having uh, analog triggers. Um, you know, I'm, you know, trying to figure out what they're gonna do with that. I can think of some ways about uh, what to do with that. Uh, they would probably involve motion controls, though, so I'm sure uh, that's a thing they can do. But uh, not everybody would be a fan of that. I'm not sure I would if it didn't work very well. So, uh, but you know, it's an option. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's there's other ways around it. They can figure out something. Uh, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm I'm looking forward to the game. I'm a fan of uh, Gear Racers, Simulation Racers. Um, I'm a fan of Forza series. Uh, was a fan of GT series, uh, the Gran Turismo series. Kind of fell off of that once Forza started picking up. So, um, you know, looking forward to having a game like that. You know, obviously it's a little bit limited with the fact that it's a mobile game, but they're doing things to make it a bigger game, which is what I thought. Like I said, I thought they weren't just going to port the game over. They're going to do some stuff to make it fit more to a console nature. So it's good to see that happening and uh, very excited for that. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, there's a lot of games, like I said, coming out on the Switch this holiday season. Um, that I'm looking to get. Uh, I believe one of the games is called Lumo. It's a, a indie game. Uh, there, that uh, uh, what's that? Uh, the Celestial. Uh, what is that game called with the the elephant? I uh, don't know if I'm gonna get that right away because it reminds me too much. It kind of looks a lot like uh, uh, what's the game? Uh, oh my gosh, that other indie game that I have that looks like uh, the kind of a Zelda-ish clone. Um, I'll put the the name up so if I can't remember it. Uh, but yeah, it looks too much like that, so don't know if I'll be getting that. But you know, some games I'm looking forward to getting physical copies, uh, getting special editions like uh, uh, what's the uh, the Wii? I have it on Wii U uh, digitally, um, and I'm getting it over. I'm getting a, uh, the special edition on Switch. I really should have looked at uh, my notes here uh, before I came on here. But uh, uh, what's the game? Uh, this is the game right here. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the, the indie title made by one man. I mean, he did everything, and uh, I just feel like you know because the game is actually really good. It's a kind of a Metroid, uh, Metroidish clone with uh, its own kind of take. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, um, NBA 2K18. Waiting on the physical copy for that. I was gonna get the stupid edition, but the more uh, things that came out about it with the you know not being able to play with your friends and just you know certain little issues that came out with about it kind of made me you know kind of step back and you know, just i'm gonna you know hold back on all that excitement crazy excitement i had and gonna get the regular version and uh they've been patching it pretty well from what i heard a lot of the some of the kinks are being worked out so that's good to hear um i'm getting uh skyrim this be the third time i bought it um one of the times i bought it, it wasn't full price it was uh i believe it was uh twenty dollars I got the legendary edition, so $23, something like that. Um, and uh, I got that edition. And uh, I don't, I never really played that one. I just ended up picking it up and never playing it. I played the original edition, uh, which I paid, I think, not even full price for that. I think I paid $45 or something back in the day. I didn't buy it day one. So, yeah, I got that 
at a uh, you know a, a lower price. So uh, you know, with this one, it'll still be under a hundred dollars. I've been spending on Skyrim, but still, I'm um, looking forward to playing it on the Switch on the go. So that's gonna be cool. Um, you know, I, like I said, I'm getting Doom for sure, um, and I'm also gonna pick it up on PC as well because uh, it's really cheap on PC. So I'm gonna get it on uh, Steam. Uh, and I'm a pick up because I just want to support those who support us and I'm a, I am a fan of doom It's not like I'm just supporting the game that way. Um, I am a fan of doom the doom series You might have seen me put some gameplay. I have doom 64. I bought uh, Here's a little known story. You might not know about I actually traded in my copy of earthbound Yeah, my copy of earthbound on Super Nintendo for doom for Super Nintendo uh, So ashamed I'm so ashamed fools that I did that and I can't believe it <laughs> yeah, still hurts to this day but yeah I'm a Doom fan so from way back um, Wolfenstein as well got into that a little bit later um, I haven't picked up the new order I believe that's the the newer version of Wolfenstein that came out uh, before the new Colossus I think it's part two so I'm gonna definitely get that as well on switch and uh, you know later on down the line maybe on Steam as well just trying to support Bethesda because they uh you know, they, this is a gamble for them to put these games on Switch, even though it is selling well, uh, you know, to put these games out early with confidence. It just makes me feel good, fool. So I uh, want to show Bethesda some support. Um, and uh, yeah, so looking forward to a lot of games. Obviously, Super Mario Odyssey is out there. I got to get out my uh, versus my next versus video, which is Super Mario 64 uh, versus uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, it'll be, you know, in honor of uh super mario odyssey coming out soon so i'm gonna get that out beforehand hopefully uh by the end of this week i'll be able to get that sometime this weekend would be great um so yeah obviously that got the special edition of xenoblade chronicles 2 pre-ordered that so i'm looking forward to that i mean there's just so many really good games coming to switch i'm very excited uh switch is doing really well the games are selling really well Really happy about that, and uh, it's just a really good time to be a Nintendo fan, a Switch owner, and uh, been doing some catching up on some of Wii U games. Um, another little known fact, I haven't beat uh, Xenoblade Chronicles uh, X yet. Um, don't hold the horses, I am at the final boss. Um, I've been there for a while. I just went out and started you know, grinding a little bit more because uh, I got close to beating a damn boss. But it, it can be a pain in the ass. Uh, some of you fools might know. It can be a pain in the butt. So uh, some of you fools might know that. Uh, so I have to grind and get my crew up. You know, get the stats up and uh, go back and fight, face them. But uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, the, I spent 220 hours or something in the damn game. So I'm going to beat that for sure before uh, Cine Blade Chronicles 2 comes out. Not because it a tie-in or anything with the story. Just something I want to accomplish got to finish that Wii U backlog so yeah fools uh you know getting my getting my game on when I can uh doing my thing you know so uh some changes are coming to the channel as well stay tuned uh you know uh, I want to do certain things with my videos and my type of video output haven't been able to do that uh, because uh the way I like to do videos uh you know takes a lot of time and work and uh you know it's cool to just you know do a little commentary over some gameplay but there's a lot of stuff that i want to get done you guys have seen me talk about certain types of videos and certain uh you know styles of videos and uh you know certain uh you know uh um, store, uh, what, else, what should I say? What how I call it? Certain types of um, series uh, I want to accomplish and do on a regular basis, and it's kind of hard to uh, when I have uh, you know work to do uh, on uh, you know on my on my real life front. So you know, I, but you know, I love uh, doing these videos for my channel. Love the feedback. Uh, love the interaction with you fools in the community. So I'm uh, gonna try to find a way to make this thing happen a little bit more often, a little bit more consistently. Uh, on my channel so hope you fools uh, stay tuned for that uh, keep watching uh, make sure you uh, watch the videos and share them give me some likes fools uh, you know help the channel grow I'm doing pretty well uh, look uh, my views are getting a lot more consistent recently uh, they've been up and down uh, YouTube is acting a damn fool with this uh, what I like to call semi censorship uh, but you know that it's not YouTube's fault really sometimes uh, it has a lot to do with the sponsors 
as well. You know, they don't want their um, um, uh, ad, they don't want their ads and stuff associated with certain types of videos, which I understand, especially with a lot of the controversies that have been going on with YouTube. So I can't, as a business owner myself, I understand that. Um, a lot of people don't understand that. Uh, I would have to say, uh, wait till you get a little older, <laughs> I guess. And uh, you understand once you're a creator of certain things, uh, you're a creator of product, uh, you want to protect that as well. And uh, you uh, you do what's what's good and what's right for your product. So it's called, totally understand that's the same thing with what Nintendo's doing, the live streaming. Uh, that's one of the reasons they're doing what they're doing with live streaming because they want to, uh, you know, uh, stay away from the controversies you know they don't want to be affiliated with that they don't want their game showing up on a, a a live stream and some dude acting a fool doing some crazy sexual act or saying some you know uh something you know racially tinged or whatever they just want to kind of stay with it. i understand that that uh, to makes total sense to me um but you know some fools will still be upset about it <laughs> uh oh well to them they'll they'll be able to earn their bread and butter somewhere else i'm sure but Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to touch base with you fools. I haven't been on camera with you fools in a while, so wanted to do that, and I wanted to uh, salute my Yankees. Uh, we just won uh, uh, that series with the Indians, and uh, going on to the uh, the conference final there. So very happy about that, and uh, so yeah, it's a you know good time all around. Good time, except for them, my, my damn Giants. Oh God. Uh, you know, uh, I'm a Yankees fan, Giants fan, and I adopted the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers when I moved there when I was 15 years old. Uh, moved to Tampa Bay area, so became a Bucks fan, and uh, they're doing pretty well, uh, except for that damn kicker. Oh my god, uh, it's costing games. He cost the games last season, he definitely cost the game against the Patriots. So, uh, you know, hopefully, they get that rectified. I don't know if they have, I haven't paid much attention, maybe they already have, but anyway, that's sports talk. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about that. And some of you dudes already clicked the video off. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, fools. Uh, enjoying my time with my Switch. Uh, enjoying being gaming right now. It's a good time. Uh, it's a good time all around. A lot of games are coming out this fall that a lot of fools are looking forward to. Um, so, uh, yeah, fools, just let me know what you think uh, in the comments below uh, about your Switch. Uh, you're very happy. Are you excited for what's coming out? Uh, or uh, any other games that coming on other consoles that you might be looking forward to. Uh, maybe you're picking up that Xbox One X. Uh, not sure why, but <laughs> uh, not at least not right now. Maybe at some point later. But, uh, yeah, um, let me know in the comments below. As always, fools, thank you. As always, for watching and listening. I, I appreciate all you fools. Uh, uh, keep uh, liking, subscribing to the channel, and, uh, you know, do your thing, fools, and uh, I'll continue to do mine. Uh, thank you for watching and listening, and I'll see you, fools, next time. Peace out. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo, fools. <laughs>